Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video, we're going to be learning all about file handling in C. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So now without any further delay, let's begin. This session will help you to understand what file handling in C is. Then file handling operations and functions associated with it. And finally, the file opening modes in C. So now let's begin with what is file handling in C. As we all know, to maintain or organize the data, we use files. To understand in a better way why file handling is used, let's consider an example of our program's input and output. So what happens is that we store value in the variables and that data will be stored for time being in RAM. The data will be lost whenever the program is terminated or when the system is switched off. So when we want our results to be stored permanently in the secondary device, we use file handling functions. This means that the data is stored in a file using a program known as file handling. The main objectives of the file handling are to create, read, write and update the files. In file handling, a file pointer is used to fetch and access the file in the program to perform operations on it. In general, a file pointer is a variable used to reference the files in the program. In C programming, we declare variables to hold a value, right? For example, int a comma b. This means the variable a and b hold a value of type integer. Similarly, in file handling in C, the declaration is file, asterisk and followed by file pointer name. In the following declaration, file acts similar to data type, which means that the file pointer variable is of the type file. In file handling, every file is represented with a unique file pointer variable to access the file and perform certain operations. The general syntax to open a file is file, asterisk and followed by the file pointer name. Then, to open a file, we use the function fopen and specify the file name and the mode, which will be assigned to the file pointer variable. Alright, now let's have a look at the file handling operations in C. To do any operations on the file, we first create a file and then perform operations. But if the file already exists, we open an existing file and perform the task. And once after the creation or opening a file, we read from a file or write to a file or if required, we perform both the operations. And the next operation we have is to move a file to the specified location. If required, we can move a file. Otherwise, the last operation is to close the file. So whenever we open a file, it's compulsory to close the file. Therefore, we have a set of functions to perform operations on the file. So now let's see what are those file handling functions are. We have so many functions to handle files in C. But in this session, we will understand a few basic and important functions. And the functions are given below. As discussed before, to perform any operation, the first thing is to open an existing file and then perform the task. So basically, if open function is used to open an existing file, and if the file is not present in the system, it will return a null. The following function we have is fclose. Whenever we open a file and complete the operations on it, finally we must close a file. In addition to this, there is a limit to opening many files at a time. So the unnecessary files must be closed when the task is completed. Next, fprintf function is similar to printf function. As we all know, printf function is used to print the output, or we can say it is used to print the result on the console. Whereas, fprintf function is used to write values in the specified file. Up next, we have fscanf function, which is similar to scanf function. Again, we know that scanf function is used to take inputs from the user, whereas fscanf function is used to read data or information from the specified file. Next. We have fputs and fgets function used to write and read strings from files respectively. Following we have fseek function. So whenever we want to write or read something on a specific part of the file, we need to set the pointer to that particular position. And to do this, we use fseek function. Then we have rewind function that is used to set the current position to the start of the file. That means the pointer is set to the beginning of the file. And finally, we have remove function. Hence, the remove function is used to delete the file. So I think you got a good understanding of all the file handling functions of C. Okay, 
So let us move on to the file opening modes of C language. These opening modes specify on what basis the file is opened. For example, suppose you want to write something on the file. We open an existing file using fopen function and specify the mode either to read or write the file. And that is done using the following file opening modes. First, let's start with mode R. It is used to open existing text file to read only. And mode W creates and opens the file for writing. But if the file already exists, then it will overwrite its content. Next is EAT, which is used to append the data at the end of the existing file. Append is nothing but adding up the data for writing only. Then RT plus where R stands for reading and T stands for text file. So this mode opens the existing file to read and write. Next, the WT plus. This mode creates and opens the file for reading and writing. But if the file exists, it will overwrite the content or empty the content of the existing file. And then EAP plus will append the data at the end of the existing file and open it for reading and writing. Following, we have RB where B stands for binary files. So basically, it is used to open an existing binary file for reading only. WB, this mode is used to create and open an existing binary file for writing. EAB mode appends at the end of the existing binary file. Next, RB plus opens an existing binary file for reading and writing. WB plus creates and opens a binary file for reading and writing. And finally, we have EAB plus. This mode is used to append to the end of the existing binary file for reading and writing. So now let's have a look at the declaration. Let's see how the functions and modes are used in file handling. For the file opening operation, we have the following declaration, file and followed by file pointer name. The pointer variable will contain the address of the file structure. So as discussed before, to perform any operation on the file, we must open a file. So for that, we have the fopen function assigned to a file pointer variable specified with the file name and the mode. So in this example, the file is open to perform the write operation. The following declaration is based on a reading a file. Therefore, fscanf function is used to read from a file. We can also use the fgets function. Next, write a file. So first we open an existing file and specify the file name and the mode w that is the write mode. The fprintf function is followed to write data on a specified file. Finally, after performing the operations on the file, we must close the file. And to close the file, we use fclose function. The function parameter is the pointer name. Now, let us understand this operation using a simple program. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. In this program, we're going to perform the write and read operation. So for that, let's first open a file named file1.c. And the next step is to write on the open file. And once we write the content into the open file, we're going to read from the file. And at last, we will close the file. So now let's run it. Enter the file content. Okay. And once you write the data into the file, the next step is to read data from the file. Reading content of a file. Hey guys, welcome you all to Simply Learn and it's printed successfully. So now let's open the file and see if the data is written into the file. So this is the file and it's written successfully. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the file handling in C programming. I hope this session was informative and interesting. Until next time, Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.